guys, welcome to my channel or welcome back to my channel. My name is Summer and today I'm going to be talking about New Year's resolution goals in regards to health, wellness, fitness, um, particularly in the women's demographic because we tend to always set goals um, revolving around wanting to lose weight and I want to give you my tips and tricks and things to do, what not to do just to not set you guys up for failure and to really have a new perspective going into this year. Wow, it just got dark on me. <laughs> but um, let's see if we can brighten this up. There we go. Okay, so I'm going to school to be a dietitian. So I kind of have a different perspective on this and there's a lot of different things I've realized as I've tried to make this video that I can make a lot of different videos on to talk about. Um, <laughs> but... Yeah, I have one more semester um, for my undergrad for this particular degree, and yeah. So moving on, I want to give like three major points. The first one is establishing your why. Now, I think this is very important because people who tend to say that they want to lose weight um, or get toned, whatever, or if they want to gain weight, like, what's the real reason? Because if it's not for, like, a good, deep reason, it's going to be hard for you to stay motivated and determined on those hard days because you just don't have, like, a good enough why to the reason that you're setting this goal. Hi, baby. <laughs> Sorry, my daughter. You got a booger. You got a booger. Are you playing? Um, so that's the first thing. Um, the next thing is, is don't spend your money on anything. Don't spend your money on a program, particularly if you're in like that, um, beginner intermediate, um, phase of your fitness journey, because there should be no reason <laughs> what there should be no reason as to why you're spending any type of money from supplements to programs, because there's so much free content on the internet for one. And for two, supplements are complete BS, and I just don't think that they're necessary. That's a different topic for a different day. But even if there are ones that are 100% regulated, which is not the fact, even if there were ones like that, um, that had research studies to back whatever health claims um, that they do have or nutrient claims, they're meant to supplement your diet. So there's so many things that we can do and be more consistent of from the gym to our diet, um, to our sleep, like to our overall well-being that can help you reach those goals for free before you try to spend money on something. So it's just not worth it. Don't spend money on any type of program or coach because again, free content on the internet, do your research, keep things simple, like it's basic. You know, we all know we need to get be more active and we all know to eat more clean in the sense of eat less junk food and just live more of a balanced lifestyle, whatever that looks like for you. So again, first thing, what's your why? Dig deep into what that is because in a goal, there's going to be times of adversity. And if you don't have a good why, as to why you are challenging yourself, you're not going to be able to stay consistent on those hard days. Second tip, don't spend any money on any of these things because it's not necessary in this day and age and we can do things for free. I say it for the beginner intermediate because when you do get to the more advanced, like it's good to have an outside person, um, it, the right person to give you that, those knowledge and that, the knowledge and feedback that is potentially necessary um, to kind of let you have the backseat. Like if you're an athlete, you're obviously advanced and it's good to pay for someone else's services so you don't have to worry about those things. And also get into more in depth of like meal timing, stuff like that to really push you into that advanced realm. But that's not like the majority of us. I feel like that's like the 1%. Um, that's kind of exaggerating, but yeah. Third thing is, is say there's a program out there, it's for free, you want to do it. Um, if there's an end date to this program, do not do it because it's not realistic. Anything you do end up doing um, 
you need to think of the big picture of, is this something that I can sustain for the rest of my life? Do you want to weigh food for the rest of your life and count your macros? Probably not. So I don't think that that's a good road to go down. Again, everybody's different, um, but that's just me personally. Do you want to cut out a certain food group for the rest of your life? Probably not. Um, so X that diet out. Don't even choose to do it because not only is it very discouraging when you fail, um, because these diets are so extreme and not meant for sustainability. Um, but also it's just not good for you and you don't need to cut out food groups because we just need to learn to live a balanced lifestyle and meaning, you know, we can still eat everything. Um, everything is good in moderation and yeah, we don't need to cut things out. That's just baloney. And with that too, having these end dates to these extreme diets. So say you do have really good discipline and you are able to cut out a food group at the end of this diet that you do. Um, what happens after that? It was so extreme. That's why we, you know, at the end of it, then we're going to have all this yo-yo dieting. You're going to gain this weight back and you're again, just going to feel bad about yourself. Like don't set yourself up for failure because it's not your fault. It's what you're trying to do. You know, that's, it's that program's fault because it's setting you up to not even win. And we all want to be winners. We all want to feel good about ourselves. So yeah, again, first thing, what's your why? Find a good why. Find a good goal. Set a goal that is realistic. Don't do something too lofty. You want to do something that, you know, you can hit that goal feel good about yourself, and then reevaluate and move on to the next step um, to better yourself even more. That's what I like to do. Set baby goals and new ones, reevaluate along the way instead of having this really big goal and every day, excuse me, <laughs> I'm pregnant and I have really bad acid reflux. Um, but, you know, if you set a really big goal and you don't ever have little um, checkpoints along the way, it can get really discouraging because looking at the very top of that mountain, no matter how many baby steps you take, you're just like, oh my gosh, oh my gosh, this is terrible. Um, oh, the lighting. But, sorry, if you set little checkpoints for yourself, it makes the time, the climb to the top of that mountain easier. So, and then the second thing that we talked about was, um, I'm blanking, we'll get back to it. But the third one was to not, oh, the second one was don't spend money on anything from a program to a supplement if you're like intermediate beginner of your fitness journey because it's not necessary. And then the third one is, what did we say? It was to don't do any type of program or diet. I don't think you should do anything like that in general, but with an end goal or something that cuts out food groups and whatnot, because that's not realistic. You want to find something that is realistic for you to sustain for the rest of your life, because anything else will result in yo-yo dieting and feeling bad about yourself. So that is the video. I'm glad I finally got it because I've had so many takes on this and yeah, I am planning on trying to upload as much as I can. As I mentioned, I'm pregnant again. Woohoo! With baby number two, if you made it this far, <laughs> um, in March. So yeah, I have just been really busy, not feeling the best. And, um, I did school last semester, blah, blah, blah. I'm going to get, I'm going to make a different video about this, but, um, yeah, this video, this channel is really going to be focused on, um, health, wellness, fitness, and mom life. So my next video is probably going to be about um, some mom tips, stuff like that. So anyway, I hope you guys are doing great. I hope this video helps you. Hopefully you can reevaluate whatever goals you do have because more than likely the fitness industry got you and you're paying for something or you're doing something that you probably shouldn't be doing because it's not realistic for you. And we want you to succeed because, you know, we all want to be happy and win in life. <laughs> All right. Have a good rest of your day and I'll catch you in the next one.